If you turn the drive on, push the push to start button and the motor starts running, but the drum doesn't seem to be turning, open the door on the dryer, push the door switch actuator to turn the switch on, depress the push to start switch. If the motor starts running, but the drum doesn't turn, the problem could be a broken belt. Remove the lint filter and the two holding screws under the lint filter. Open the top panel with a screwdriver like this and lean it against the wall. The belt could be broken on top of the drum or the belt could be broken and it's underneath of the drum. You need to remove it. Turn the drum until the screws on one of the baffles are on the up position like this. Get a piece of coat hanger wire about 10 inches long. Make a hook on one end and a 90 degree bend on the other end. Unscrew one of the baffle screws until the head is about a quarter of an inch out. Hook the wire between the head of the screw and the hole on the back panel. Like this. The wire will keep the drum in place and it will be easier for you to install the belt. Disconnect the door switch from the wire harness like this. To be able to remove the front panel, you need to remove these two screws. Go ahead and remove the one on the left. Then remove the one on the right. Pull the front panel away from the drum. Disengage the front panel from the bottom clips and take it right out. As you can see, the coat hanger wire will hold the drum in place for you. Go ahead and place the belt around the drum. You could use the mark on the drum of the old belt as a reference. Make sure you put the belt around the drum like this and not like this. This is wrong. Now you need to get down on the floor and install the idle pulley on the belt on the motor pulley. Make sure that the grooves on the belt are facing the drum. Hook the idle pulley on these holes and hold it with your right hand. With your left hand, place the belt on top of the idle pulley and with your finger push it through here. Grab it with your right hand and push with your left hand and put the belt around the motor pulley. Hook the idle pulley on these holes and hold it with your right hand. With your left hand, place the belt on top of the roller and with your finger push it through here. Grab the belt with your right hand. Push the idle pulley with your left hand and place the belt around the motor pulley. Hook the front panel on the two bottom hooks. And push the front panel in so the drum is riding on the front felt. Secure the front panel with the two holding screws, the one on the left and the one on the right. Remove the coat hanger wire and tighten the screw on the baffle. Lower the top panel and push down on it to lock it in place. Screw in the two screws under the lint filter and put the lint filter in place. That was a way to check and replace the belt. For the best place to buy replacement parts online, visit Repair Clinic. Repair Clinic will give you 365 days to decide if you want to keep the part or not. If you don't want to keep it, you could return it for a full refund or for a replacement of the part. You could check for the links to Repair Clinic on my website.